crazy, huh? Check that out. They don't like the spices, but we're gonna just drench them in it. Oh my God, there's one right here. Look. I'm not trying oh to my God, this one's huge, Jack. Give me the good, give me the good. Take this. Mole crabs or sand fleas? Ooh -wee. these guys are gross. Oh my God, I wonder how that's gonna taste. Here we go. You're gonna see them start changing colors. Ah, now it's starting to not look too bad. Just like a really crunchy, crunchy little, little popcorn crab. It's a popcorn crab. Let's catch them up. Woo! With catch them all fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Oh catch them all. We're out here with my buddy Ryan is fishing, guys. The madman, the animal. And we're going to do a special catch and cook for you guys today that I've been wanting to do for absolutely forever. Forever, as far as I can think of. So what we're going to do is we're going to catch some weird crabs. They're called mole crabs. And we're going to try to catch them back here. And they're pretty easy to catch, at this spot anyway. He has a really great spot. Why don't you introduce Tons yourself, buddy? What's going on, guys? Ryan is fishing here. We Let's got go catch some crabs. <laughs> so we're heading out to the beach. He said it's gonna take us 15 seconds. Watch he's this. throwing his rod down. I think I'm just gonna do the same. <laughs> I think he's excited. Check this out, this is a beautiful beach. Look at this place. We're up north right here. We're probably like, uh, I think Stewartish, Florida. Wait a second, kiddo. He's really <laughs> excited, as am I. Watch him. What? <laughs> Come on. Watch this. Oh my god! There's one right here! Look! I didn't even I didn't look at this one. Look. Watch it's how many baby! Watch this. Look at that little thing. Hold on. Hold on. We got some. A little scoop catch some water. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got some water. <laughs> Alright. Let's see how this guy acts with some water. Ready? Oh, I saw him oh. kicking a little bit. Watch him digging. Do Pass those guys. Wow, oh. really little, but check him out in the water. Ready? Faster than you think. Oh my God. Zoom into those guys. There's four of them. Yeah. See him? <laughs> See him? Faster than you thinking. They're called mole crabs and they are absolutely delicious. So we're walking down the beach and we're looking for their little antennas. They look like little bees just all up in the sand. And there's actually a bunch right over here. Watch this. Easy work. Come on. <laughs> oh, killed him. Crush him. Huh? Zoom in and look at this guy. I'm not trying oh to my god, this one's huge, Jack! Okay. Look at them, they're all huge! Look Dump them. them. Dump them. Woo! Dump them. Let's go. Give me the good. Give me the good. Check this out. Look at that thing. There's some good ones in there. Hold on, hold on. Check this out. They're jumping out of my hand. They're jumping out of my hand. <laughs> Solid. That's not bad. That's not bad. These guys do not bite you now. So, I think that's all that we got. Check this out. Oh, we got half of one right here. Oh <laughs> Look at that, guys. These are called mole crabs or sand fleas, and they are actually faster. When you drop one, look what happens when you drop one. You gotta one. put them in a moist Come sand. On. Check this out. Check this out. Ready? Three, two, one, drop. Oh! Crazy, right? Now I can get them all back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's actually half of one. But what we're gonna try to do today is do a little catch and cook with these guys. Weird, huh? <laughs> Got a fish? Uh oh, our friend has a fish right now too. Check out the sand fleas though. Sand merch. <laughs> Those guys are gonna be good, but this guy might actually have a fish. Check this out. Check it out. We got some fish back here too. So they're actually eating the sand fleas. You can go fishing with these guys. This is a great bait out here on the beach. But check it out. Get us a fast scoop for We gotta, we gotta find them. Okay. Well, we're looking for. Oh my God. See all the holes? Check it out. Check it out. Look, 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 look. Scoop, scoop hard. Oh my God! There's so many, Zach. I think, I think you got a lot on that one. What we're looking for are little divots in the sand, oh kind of like little splashes that minnows would make in the water. We're looking for those little tiny holes in the sand. Check it out. Got a few in there. Dump in my hand, dump in my hand. Look at this. Nice. So check it out. Looks like we have about five. Not bad, lot. not bad. We keep scooping it like this. We're gonna have dinner soon. Really, really soon. So not bad, right? Check this out, zoom into this. Zoom into these little guys. That's a solid one. That's about an average size one. And we're getting a lot of little small ones. Not bad. 
Not bad. Ryan's doing all the work for us today. Little by little. Little by little, we're catching them. Not bad. Oh, so creepy. But those things are going to taste really good. Next big wave that comes up, they're right here. And we're going to grab them with our hands. Here it comes. Ready? Ready? Here we go. That should be good enough. Oh, oh, right in. Look at that. It's a solid one. That one's going crazy. Look at that boy. <laughs> Look at all these creepy things. Oh, so weird. Oh my gosh. And now, yep, there's more. Endless out here. We've got a decent amount. We've only been doing this for like 15 minutes, Ryan. Check that out. We have a lot in there. Look at that. That's a ton. Appreciate you, buddy. Thanks All right, no problem. Thanks for taking us out. We're gonna take him home. Ryan is fishing, guys. That's his YouTube channel name. He does stuff like this all the time. Ryan is fishing, guys. Me, brother. Give me one more pound. We're gonna take these things home and see how they taste. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Check this out, guys. We have the fleas. Can you see them in there? No. Oh my god. Oh, so creepy, dude. So creepy. <laughs> Now we're scooping them all on this plate. We're gonna get them out before we do the cook. Check this out, we got them on the plate. Oh my God, all very lively, delicious sand fleas. We gotta get all of them out here. Look at them swimming around in there. Can you see that? Ooh -wee. these guys are gross. This is so creepy. This is like probably the weirdest catch and cook ever most people probably wouldn't do this raw they'd probably throw them on ice or something but no i mean sorry not raw i mean live but what we're gonna do is make sure they are coming straight out of the ocean we had these on a bubbler the whole time so these guys are as fresh as can be they don't like being on their backs if you notice put them on their back you give them a little tickle what are you doing hey nah. look how many we have oh my gosh we got some decent ones, not bad, not bad. Look at that thing kicking. Check it out, doesn't like being on his back. Doesn't like it. Oh my God, I wonder how that's gonna taste, the mole crab. Oh, so weird. Like I said, we're not gonna waste anything here. We're just gonna try them. So we just got a couple of them. Look at that. Uh-oh, one's trying to run away. <laughs> Come over here, buddy. Hey, don't run away. What's really important, guys, is that before you put them on the oil, that you dry them off, so. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the paper towel. Oh gosh. Oh god. <laughs> put them on the paper towel. They get tired pretty quickly when they're out of the water. They're slowly gonna relax. Gonna relax. And we're gonna drop our plate. Salt water fresh. This is as fresh as you can be. This is fresh sea life, guys. Going right back on the plate. Boom. Done. Now we kept them in the water. They were a little bit stressed out and everything, but they probably did get rid of some of their excrement. So that's another good thing about keeping them in the live well for that amount of time versus throwing them right on ice as soon as you get them. And they also were able to get rid of all the sand. See, they're sand fleas and you don't want to be crunching into sand when you're doing that. So all these guys are nice and clean since the bucket, the bucket had absolutely no sand in it. Um, like maybe a little tiny bit, but most of these fleas were able to get rid of all the sand that was up under there, like crevices and around their little pincers and stuff. None of these guys hurt. It's crazy. They dig. These guys are burrowing. Look at that. Zoom in really tight to that. As tight as you can go. Huh? Crazy, huh? Look at that thing. Just such a crazy, weird, digging creature. And these guys do not hurt you. Weird. So anyway. We're good to go right here. We have our really small pan, and where is it? My Danos, dude, this is gonna taste amazing. Olive oil and Danos go a really long way. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna put these guys to the side. They're nice and dry, so our oil is not gonna pop when we throw these guys in there. You're gonna wanna make sure these guys are as live as can be. So these guys are still kicking. It's some live seafood right now. So go ahead, throw this little tiny guy, a little bit of olive oil, just like that, just enough to get around the pan. Uh-huh. And I'm actually gonna see in these guys while they're alive. I'm gonna go ahead and get this going on medium heat and check this out. Got some Dano seasoning, the best seasoning of all time. You guys know I love, I rave about it all the time. Pop that top. 
Check that out. Check that out. They don't like the spices. But we're going to just drench them in it. And roll them in. These guys are going to be delicious. Delicious. I'm telling you. Now, some of these guys are soft. Check this out. Those are the extra good ones that just molted. If you check, look at my fingers. That one's a little soft. So those are going to taste really good, but we're going to dump them all into the fire. Here we go. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. A little hot. You're going to see them start changing colors. Ah. Don't want them to explode too much. Oh! Here we go. That guy made one last effort, but he was a little bit too late. Sorry, Fido. If you zoom into that, you'll see the color change. See them all getting red? Oh! <laughs> now it's starting to not look too bad. All right, so the micros we're getting rid of. And here's the final result. Blackened sand fleas. I'm telling you, they don't look so bad now, do they? Ready for the piece de resistance? Danos sand fleas, aka mole crabs. Now this is the soft shell one, and these are the hard shell ones. So that's the difference, what they look like. And they're all good. I'm gonna give you a hard shell one. It's like popcorn crab. Crab popcorn. They're really, really good. Really, really good. And if you cook them thoroughly all the way through, they're amazing. Catching base behind the camera. Go ahead, try one. I'm scared. Go ahead. Oh my god. Try it. Okay, well, I just did that. How do you feel though? How's it taste? <laughs> Popcorn crab. <laughs> She's freaking out. Telling you guys, I eat this all day. Probably because Danos makes everything amazing. Like I'm saying, I promise you. Check the comments below of the people that tried Danos already. It's, it's insane. It's an insane seasoning, and I want it to go worldwide because it's so good, and it makes everything good, especially seafood, which is why I used it for the last two years. And now, he really wants to be a part of the channel because I'm just having way too much fun with it on and off camera. But this is one of the best meals that you can make and catch if you fail at home. You're like, God, oh, I didn't catch anything, sweetheart. I didn't catch anything with Danos and a little bit of olive oil. This is an amazing meal and a super, super fun, weird appetizer that you can do down here in South Florida. Off Stewart, uh, bathtub beach area, you just scoop in the sand. And I'm telling you, you guys will find a ton of these little things. It'll be delicious. You wanna try one, Timmy? Yeah, sure. I'll go ahead. It. Hold that camera, go ahead. We'll have a nice little chewing thing. Let's see. How do you feel? It's freaky to know what they are, but how does that taste? Not bad, right? <laughs> the Danos makes everything taste good. I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, it's because it, it makes everything taste good, but it's just like a really crunchy, crunchy little little popcorn crab. Guys, I'm telling you, it's a popcorn crab. It's so funny. But the shell, since it's th uh, such a thin little small animal, it doesn't bother you, especially when they're this side. When they get a little bit bigger, the shell gets thicker. So you want them to be about this size or smaller when you're harvesting them. The bigger they get, the more annoying the shell is. But these guys are amazing guys. I can keep eating them and eating them and eating them and eating them. Shout out to Danos because this stuff is amazing. Guys, stay tuned for the next episode. And let me know what you want me to cook with this Danos because I'll cook anything and catch anything with it, as you guys already know. Stay tuned for the next episode, guys, and catch them all. Catch them all. Woo! Get them all.